Hey guys, how's it going? On the last video, a few of you seemed like you were kind of interested in my beaver, and so I thought I would go ahead and show you guys that today. Okay, so I thawed out a bag of bits and pieces from the butchering process, and here I am cleaning that up because nobody wants to eat a dirty beaver. I've cleaned the meat up and I've cubed it, and you're probably looking at this and you're thinking, hey, that looks a lot like cow. It does look like cow, and it tastes a lot like beef. In fact, if you don't have a beaver, you can do this with your beef. One guy told me he imagined that beaver would taste a lot like fishy squirrel. If you're eating beaver that tastes like fishy squirrel, you really need to consider raising your standards. How am I going to eat this beaver? Like steak tips, but first I'm going to make a yummy marinade. Start with some red wine. A little bit of homemade wild black cherry vinegar. A couple of chunks of maple sugar. If you don't have any maple sugar, you can use brown sugar. And if you don't have any wild black cherry vinegar, you can use any fruit vinegar. Some Queen Anne's lace seeds. Some prickly ash seed pods. Wild garlic bulblets. Throw those last three into a grinder. If you don't have Queen Anne's lace, you can still probably go get some. They hang on to their seeds well into winter. Or you could use some coriander or some cumin. They're kind of similar. Um, and for the prickly ash, you could substitute red pepper flakes or black pepper. And um, for the garlic, you could use garlic. And then I'm going to add some spruce salt, which there really is no substitute for. So just throw some regular salt in there if you don't have spruce salt. Oh, and some olive oil. Don't forget the olive oil because you want your beaver to be nice and juicy. And now we let that marinate for a couple hours. I'm taking the beaver to a full moon slash solstice slash festivist dinner tonight. And so I have preheated both my oven and my Dutch oven to 350. And now I'm going to go ahead and add the meat and the marinade in. Oh my God, you guys, it smells so good. Pro tip, never let anyone eat your beaver if it doesn't smell good. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh. All right, don't want to let too much heat out. It's about an hour drive to my friends, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wrap that in towels and let it slow cook on the way there. Okay, so I'm at my friend's house and it's time for the big reveal. Uh, it's time to eat the beaver. Wow, that is really, really good beaver. Yeah. This is the juiciest, tenderest beaver I have ever ate. And there you have it, beaver bites. Follow me if you want to learn more about wild foods. I can't promise it will all be as fun as playing with beaver, but there's a lot of good stuff out there. And don't forget to like, comment, and share. That's it, guys. Until next time, happy foraging!